Hi, welcome to Fusing Topics with the McCulkin Group. We're over here at 275 Route 79 in Morganville, or you can reach us at 855 McCulka. Here's my musical accompaniment. Yeah. All right. All right. Johnny, Here tell them are. about the contest. All right. So we are sponsoring a contest with uh, 106.3 Thunder. Thunder, 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 and it's called the Cash Call. Um, and, and this is really exciting. You call each day. They give uh, away a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Yeah. Call in, and you can then be uh, eligible to win a uh, home generator, whole house home generator, installed and supplied by. 855 Makolka. 855 Makolka. Also, with that $100, you yes. get a t-shirt. Yes. These are not just any normal not work t-shirts. Johnny, t show them what you designed. Yes. Yes. That's pretty hot, right? And anyone who knows, you know, where this was inspired from, that's cool. <laughs> you get a special nod, right? All right, you show them the other one. Nod. And the same goes for this. Inspiration. Tell me who it was. <laughs> and wait, wait, wait for it. All right, all right, all right. All right, excellent. Yeah, yeah definitely tune in and log on to uh, to the website for 106.3. Log on to our website right. at uh, www.855mcolka.com. Yes. And uh, check out the cash call. Right, because uh, you we can are... call in, you win $100, and you can win an additional $100 if you go to our website and look for the artist of the day. That's right. Yes. And, and, and also you'll be registered to win the grand prize, which is a free... Uh, installed uh, standby generator. Yes. All right, cool. So <laughs> what we wanted to talk about today is generators, being that we're giving away a generator. Yes. On that wonderful country music station, 106.3 Thunder. <laughs> Thunder. Right, and Johnny is going to have all country themed music <laughs> in the recorder, yeah. right? Yeah. All country yeah. themed. But we're gonna do outlaw country, yeah. right? Yeah. We're gonna do Johnny Cash. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do Waylon Jennings. Yes. We're gonna do Willie Nelson. Yes. And that's mostly because we're old, and this is the kind of country music that we remember. Yes. But I gotta ask, Christine, the you're a country music moment. fan? A little bit. A little bit. What kind of country music do you listen to? Definitely more of like the Luke Bryan, Luke like Bryant, poppy type of country. Like yeah. That. Name name a country song for us. Barefoot Blue Jean Night. Sharefoot Blue Jean Night. Sounds All right, great. right on. Does, does it mention a pickup truck? <laughs> no, this one doesn't. So anyway, we're going to talk about some country yes. music. But first, let's talk about generators. Yes. So Johnny, yes. here's the deal. Right. When you talk about an automatic standby generator system, mm -hmm. this is what you picture, right? This is what everybody pictures in their mind. Power goes out. Right. Count to 10, yeah. lights go back on, yeah. whole house works, right. it's on generator power, right. you don't know anything, except you can just live your life like normal. That's a home standby whole house generator, that's and that's mostly what people imagine. Mm -hmm. Now, can anybody that lives anywhere in any kind of building or structure have a generator? I, I don't think so. No, yeah. they can't. I don't think definitely so. not. Yeah. Was that too rehearsed right there? But yeah, definitely not. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Johnny a little quiz yeah. about what kind of dwellings can have a standby generator. All right, Johnny, are you ready? No, I'm ready. Okay. How about a condo or townhouse? Yeah, you know, I, I don't think so. Right. Maybe. It's a hard maybe. You have yeah. HOAs to abide by. Yes. There is a lot going on there. Yeah, so yeah. that is pro I started with probably one of the most difficult mm. ones because mm -hmm. condos and townhouses, you have many different entities. Right. If you have a multiple occupancy building, you have neighbors that are attached to your right. building. Right. Typically, if you have neighbors that are attached in the same building, no the bueno. answer is going to be no. No bueno. Correct. So if you have a townhouse that's all by itself, that's right. that's single standing. It's a hard maybe. Yeah. That's okay. a hard maybe. Okay. But also, you have the HOAs, mm -hmm. you have that sort of thing to deal with. What a lot of people don't understand is that there are many, many entities to deal with right. when we're going to put in a standby generator. Yeah. So, how about a single family home? Sounds good. I think we're single on the family way there. home. Yeah, single family home is where we sell the most <laughs> generators. Absolutely. This is this is a typical house that, you know, most people grew up in in the suburbs and it's it's it stands by itself. That's the the primo location. What about an apartment? Yeah, I'm I'm saying no. I'm saying no. Yeah, apartment. apartments never. Yeah. You really can't. You really yeah. you really can't have a standby generator in an apartment. What about a mobile home? Mobile home. I'm going to say a hard maybe. Because why? Because it's a single standalone unit. Right. Yeah. All right. What about a van Ooh, down by the river? Definitely not a van. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, you could definitely put a portable generator or a portable. an automatic generator yeah. in a van mm -hmm. down by the river. All why? Right. Yeah. Because it stands, stands by alone. itself. Mm -hmm. I've never done it, right. but I think you could and well, 
that you can do a van down by the river. I came out here from out west, and we used to do a lot of camping in the desert. There's a lot of van living going on right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a big thing. When we would camp, we would bring a portable generator. All right, so the the thing that I want to point out uh, before we just close out this, who can have Mm -hmm. a standby generator, really, it's really mostly people that have single-family homes. However, if you register to win a generator from 106.3 and 855 Maculka and you don't own a home, fear not, because there's also a cash prize if you're not eligible for a home standby generator. It's a home standby generator or... $8,500 $8,500 in cash. What? So please log in and call in and register and collect that money and those t-shirts and we hope to hear from you soon. That brings us, I am so excited, Christine. <laughs> I am so excited about our our country yeah. music extravaganza yeah. that we yes. are now going to start with this episode. And Johnny, bring us <laughs> well, in. Well, you know, I'm going to talk about Outlaw. I'm outlaw. Talk about what do we mean country? by Outlaw? Well, and what determines Outlaw? I'm yeah. asking a question. Yeah. I, what determines outlaw country? I, I, I'm hoping you have my, the answer. Well, my answer would have been if you've been arrested for drug <laughs> possession. <laughs> that seems Wait, to be a prerequisite. Right. Well, I mean, you got Hank Williams. Oh, yeah. You got Johnny Cash. Oh, yeah. You, you know, Willie, I'm Willie. sure. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Right, right. But never... Uh, Johnny, Merle. Johnny was never convicted. I think Merle... Merle well, Waylon did... I think he did a little time. I'm not really sure about that. But today, you know, Willie Nelson, Waylon Jr., Chris Christopherson, Johnny Cash, Merle Haggard, Hank Williams Jr., David Allen, the list goes on and on. They David Allen Coe is a lunatic. Oh, yeah. Wild Johnny man. Paycheck. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Paycheck, no doubt. And no numerous doubt. others. This movement, Outlaw uh, Country, the movement started in the 1970s, spearheaded by the one and only Willie Nelson. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. He got okay. fed up with the polished uh, country scene in Nashville. Right. And he was like, I'm out. Right. Now, I would say that the polished country scene in Nashville has probably just gotten more and more polished mm-hmm. over right? Because what what I've noticed about, about the, the current country music is you have these wicked, wickedly talented musicians. Right. I mean, this music right. is so, uh, you know, so crazy. Like those Brad Paisley, right? Like those kind of like just over the top guitar players and stuff like that. And the stuff is produced really on the level more of like a, a pop music right. Right. at this point. Would you agree with that, Christine? Definitely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so when I think of outlaw country, I think of like those mamas don't let your babies do grow up to be cowboys, oh, sure. yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like talking mm-hmm. about, you know, just getting, yep. I turned 21 in prison, right. doing life without parole. Right. right. Okay. So Willie goes to Texas. You know what I mean? And, and to get away from the Nashville sound and an outgrowth of the honky tonk style pioneered by the one and only Hank Williams. You know what I mean? And his folk introspective and so forth and so on. Um, and this is where these guys grew. And there was hippies. You know, there right. was a scene going yeah, on. Yeah, see, because there's, know, right, there's a there's more of a blues element Austin, yeah, to me Austin. In, in outlaw country music. Like a lot of Waylon Jennings stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, Waylon Jennings is my favorite outlaw country artist. And he, he does a lot of, a lot of blues mm-hmm. so listen i'm gonna play i'm gonna play a riff yeah we're gonna do it. we're gonna check johnny's country <laughs> oh, music so acumen. <laughs> okay we're gonna check his country music acumen so yeah. i will take anything i will take the artist okay i will take the okay. song all right so i'm gonna give it a lot okay? okay yeah johnny cash <laughs> ring of fire be close. Oh, oh. oh you hear the train coming. That's right. It's coming down the track. Pull some prison yeah, blues. Pull some prison blues. Johnny Cash, right on. That was really good. See? Yeah, yeah see? I, I knew just had heard it. that. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, Outlaw Country. Right. So, we're going to be talking about Outlaw Country for yes, the next we couple of weeks. We're going to focus on some artists in your music and movie corner. That is correct. And yeah. get into this whole Outlaw Country thing. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, right. if you're interested in any kind of electrical work <laughs> or that happens. Con- Contracting yeah, that does happen here. Yeah. Like we, you know, like it, it kind of looks like maybe all we do is, uh, you know, sit around and talk about music <laughs> and movies and play case. guitar. <laughs> yeah. No, we actually do some. We actually do some work too. So guys, okay. stop on by 275 Route 79 North. Johnny will always take a couple minutes to talk to you about some outlaw country music. If you need a generator, if you need some electrical work, if you need an addition or a new house built, real estate speculation, give us a call. We're always ready to help. At 855 Makulka. All right, guys, take care. And 106.3 Thunder, check us out. Thank you.